Hey everyone, it's so good to see you all again today. Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In today's episode, we are going to continue on with this quest here called Robbie's Research. Uh, and yeah, we're basically just going to be heading up there. Uh, but there's a shrine on the way over here. If you don't know, I mark my shrines by using this little uh, stamp right here so we might do that on the way and it's very likely that by the time we get there that'll be the end of the episode but we'll have to see it's not too far away actually so maybe we'll do a lot more than that uh, but yeah as you can see I've got white chocolate back I was very surprised to know or, or to find out or see that he was still back at the ruins where we got those few Korok seeds uh, so that was really cool. He didn't despawn or anything, which is amazing to me. Uh, if you don't know, we went across that thing right there. Uh, that huge spiral. Spiral. We had to go around the entire thing, uh, and we had to leave our horse all the way up where those autumn trees are. So yeah, I was surprised to find out that despite going super far away, uh, it seems like not very far from here, but it was super far away. Despite going that distance, White Chocolate still stayed and waited for us, so that was very cool. Thank you, White Chocolate, for waiting. You didn't go and off yourself in the water or anything, thank goodness. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get some pork. Oh, I missed him. Darn. If you don't know, you can run over birds in this game and you can get pork from them, or meat, or anything, really. It depends on what kind of bird it is. Uh, so, darn. I kinda wanted some. Oh well, too bad. Uh, anyway, um... The shrine should be just up here. I'm recording this right after- hang on, I bet there's a Korok seed or something around here. I'm recording this right after the last episode. Between episodes, my girlfriend sent me a lovely text message from her bed, so... Yeah, she's off to sleep now. Uh, she wasn't asleep before, I guess she was doing her own thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm in a great mood. <laughs> I'm in a super great mood. And I shall join her soon, once I've recorded like four or five more of these. Um, but yeah, I don't see a Korok around here or anything. Wait, there's a stone. No, that's not pick up a ball. Sorry. Um, you know, I don't see anything I can pick up. Like, perhaps there's a, a stone with a Korok underneath or something. Oh, there's a person right here. Hello. Oh, I already know this isn't gonna bode well. Isn't Master Koga just so dreamy? I could stare at that poochie tummy of his all day long. He's got a dumb belly. I can just leave and say, uh, you're Master Koga. He's dumb. <laughs> Who's Master Koga? What? There's no way you don't know about him. How could anyone not know about him? He's the leader of the Yiga clan, master of countless Sheikah secrets, and sworn enemy of Hero Thought Long Dead. I'll take your life. Oh, God. Yeah, I expected as much. Look at you. Why don't why don't you have the boobs? What's going on? Like it, all these Yiga guys are men, it seems like, but I'm getting played by a woman? I don't know what's going on. Are you dead immediately? Well that was quick. Alright, well so much for that. Ooh. You're freaking frail, dude. Oh my. Anyway, uh yeah, what's up with that? I'm getting played by females, but then they turn into like a a male Yiga clan operative, which is strange. Yeah, there you go. Give me my meat. That's right. Bird drumstick. That's what I'm talking about. I don't need anyone to give me my meat. I already have it. Uh, <laughs> gosh. Anyway, uh, there's a stable over here, surprisingly, so that's cool. And Beetle's here, too. What's up, dude? I don't care about you, so I'm not going to talk to you. I want to register this horse. Yo, dude. Uh, let me talk to you. There you go. Uh... Looks like you've caught yourself a new steed! <laughs> I can barely see you from over there! <laughs> Do you want to register? Yes, please. Gotcha! Uh, let's see. Wow, our... Our bond is at max, huh? Okay, well, yeah, sure. We'll register this one. Not a problem. We charge a registration fee to help support our conservation efforts. Uh, yeah, sure, gimme. Thank you. A registration fee, don't know why I said it like that. I'm calling you White Chocolate, obviously. There you go. White. And then... And then, oh uh, gosh, this takes forever. White. Cha. Wait, what the heck happened? Oh, that's all that fits. Okay, well, uh, I was wondering what happened there. You know what, we'll just go with White Chalk. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Now it sounds like White Chalk. Aw, oh, man, like... 
what you use to write on blackboards. Anyway, white chocolate, just like me. <laughs> uh, are you sure you want to enter this name? Yes, I do. Your registration is complete. Yeah, just give me my freaking saddle, would ya? Oh, give me a second. My monitor turned off. Eh. Boop. Oh wait, that's not the on button. There we go. I got it. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, we have a saddle now. Wow, you look so cool in this. And I think we heard in the treehouse, I think, Nintendo treehouse back when this game- Oh jeez, sorry I scared you. Oh damn, dude. Uh, I heard in the Nintendo treehouse that the saddle is different depending on what saddle or uh, what whatever this is called. Stable. There you go. Whatever is stable you go to. Oh, by the way, I just realized I'm wearing my Zora ar armor because I swam back from the Wrist Peninsula. There you go. Thank you. What's up, Beetle? I freaked you out earlier. Oh, I knew I'd see you again. I think that te technically makes you my stalker. Ha 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 ha. But seriously, I'm going to have to ask you to stop following me around. You sure? You don't want me to buy you? Or buy anything from you? Who am I kidding? I love the attention. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? What have you got, dude? I'm sure I have something you'll find useful. Please have a good look. We have arrows, swift carrots, smother wing butterfly. That's cool. Hardy radish. Okay, well, I don't want anything, actually. Thanks for the business. Did you need anything else? Uh, look what I've got, dude. What would you like to sell? Do I have any stupid minerals that I don't need? There you go. Oh, uh, we have flint and junk. Oh, here we go. We have ruby. Yeah, awesome. I'll sell that. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. <laughs> I love how he talks. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Nothing really. Uh, I have all this amber. You know what? I'll sell none. What about opal? I'll sell none of that either. Um, I guess I don't really have much to sell. I'll catch you later, Beetle. Nice talking to you. Let's talk to other people. Why not? Um, you. What's up, dude? Hello. Welcome to East Akala Stable, the premier stable of the East. By the way, good sir, the outside is crunchy while the inside is chewy. Take one bite and your energy will go through the roof. Mm. Go on, try one of our Akala buns. They're a delicacy straight from the East Akala stable. Sounds yummy, actually. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, one thing to note, Akala buns go bad fast since they're made of fresh ingredients. So you'll have to eat it here. That way we can ensure its quality. That okay? Okay, sure. Thank you so much. He's gonna drug me or something. Look at the guy in the back. He's like, oh, someone finally fell for it. Is he gonna fall for it? It seems like it. Is he gonna be drugged? <laughs> What's going on here? 10 rupees to be drugged out of my mind. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for your business. Now then, close your eyes and open your mouth wide. Now just munch and crunch. And down the hatch it goes. Oh, so how was it? Amazing, right? Come back soon. It gave me extra stamina. That's awesome. Thank you. Hey, doggy. Hi. You're cute. That's a cute dog, actually. I learned that if you spin around in a circle, he'll chase his tail. So will you do it? Oh, yeah. Look, he's all happy. Come on. Chase your tail with me. Let's go. Come on, doggo. I don't have all day. Everyone's looking at me. They think I'm weird. Play along. You're, you're dumb. <laughs> you're a dumb dog. Can I... Can I pet you at least? Nope, but I can talk to this guy. Hmm? You? I'm sorry, but have we met somewhere before? Well, it's not important. Have you ever heard of a great fairy fountain? Yeah. They say great fairy fountains are some of the most beautiful places in the world. Not only are they incredible, go incredibly gorgeous, but they can supposedly grant people some kind of strange power. Sadly, I've yet to find one. Are you the painter, by the way? You look like the painter. But I heard a rumor recently that there's one near Kakariko Village. Kakadiko Village is my hometown. Perhaps it's time for a visit. Oh, I don't think you are the same then. I just realized you have a paintbrush for a head. That's freaking awesome. That's really cool. And you hide your pencils in it. That's really cool. That's clever design right there. That's awesome. Hey, you. No issues to report, yet you have a quest. What's going on? Hello. I've been on patrol duty lately. The name's Huzz. Jeez, it's gotten dangerous around here lately. It has. Yes! Recently, I've been hearing about a suspicious guy named Kilton. He runs a shop called Fang and Bone, and they say he goes around pushing some kind of cart night after night. He's been making people around here uncomfortable with his suspicious and un otherworldly activities. Sorry, do you know Kilton? No, I don't. I see. 
Well, if you see any suspicious people, please tell me what they look like in detail. Really, if you see this Kilton character, please tell me all the juicy details. I'm counting on you. Sure thing, my man. Oh god, I need some water after that voice. For some reason, I've been having a few throat problems lately. I don't know what's going on. Whoa, what's up with you? Whoa, hello. Oh, you never mind. What's up? <laughs> Sorry. Sabak? I don't know what that means. Hey, kid. Yeah, I know you're a Vo, but you're still a kid to me. I sized up every Vo coming in uh, and going in down the road for eligibility. There are different ages, sizes, sometimes even races, so it's hard to make a call. I probably look like a creep to them. I don't know what you mean by Vo. What does Vo mean? Oh, a recipe. I should take a picture of that, shouldn't I? I always kick myself when I'm editing for not taking pictures of these. These are great recipes. That's a weird sound. Okay, well, anyway. This seems to make some sort of rice pork cutlet thing. I don't know, but it takes wheat or Hylian rice or whatever, and it takes steak and rock salt, which I believe I have all of. Uh, if I don't have all of, then I don't have the... The wheat. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I have the wheat. Okay, well, we can easily get that, I'm pretty sure. A sacred article? What do you have to say? Wow, you're pretty. What's up? Hello. Hmm? I haven't seen you around here. Boy, you sure have strange tastes. You look like someone who has traveled willy-nilly all over the world. Who are you? Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Nobo. I've traveled everywhere, but at the end of the day, I like Akala best of all. That's why I'm pretty familiar with stuff around here. Is there something you want to know? Uh, do you know Hudson? Mm. Hudson? Who's that? He's a carpenter? Mm. I'm not quite sure. I've been hearing clanging and banging by Lake Akala. That's south of here. Why don't you go check it out? Anything else you want to know? Uh, this area? Oh. Let's see. If you go west of the stable, there's a sacred place called the Spring of Power. Offer the sacred article to the Spring of Power. That's what the legend says. Mm. Maybe it was part of a ritual the Princess of Hyrule Castle used to perform? Anything else you want to know? What about Father Arias? There's a lighthouse looking home north of here. No one was there when I last stopped by, though. Anything else you want to know? Nope, goodbye. See ya! It was nice getting to know you, pretty lady. Spring of Power. I wonder where that's at. Anyway, we've talked quite a lot now, so I guess we'll go to the shrine. Katosa Og Shrine and we'll see what kind of puzzle awaits us within. So I'll see you guys inside. Okay, everyone, here we are, puzzles. Yes, there's a great big puzzle here. Oh my gosh. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Katosa Og. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Here we go, Katosa Og Apparatus. Katosa Og Shrine. All right, so the first thing that draws my attention is this thing, obviously I can't glide across there. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this gonna be another motion control thing? Yeah. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh! Okay, that's very interesting. Does that reset if I get out of it? Yeah, it does. Whoops, my bad. Okay, well, let's go back into it, shall we? And let's just hit it across. Pew! That didn't work. Oh gosh, I can already tell this is gonna take forever. Oops. Boom, there you go. Come on, go in. Yes, wow. Oh my gosh, don't go across. Yes, thank you. I did that really quickly! What the heck? That's a surprise! Well, I better get on this thing before it leaves. Come on, there you go. Alright. Is there a chest anywhere? You know what? I feel like there is. Yeah, I'm getting off here. Is there a chest down here, perhaps? Nope, but I can go down here. Am I... Wait. Okay, good. I, I was gonna say I better not be trapped under there. Uh, or in there. There's gotta be a chest here somewhere, right? Like, there's no way this is it. Oh, wait a second, there's an area behind that. Okay, no, don't take me across. There's an area behind the old man. We gotta go past that. I thought the chest would be somewhere hidden around here. All right, come on, since there's always a chest in every single uh, shrine. There we go, I almost fell to my death there. If I wasn't careful, I would have. Here we go. What the heck is going on? Um, oh, there's a chest right there. What does this let us control? Oh, we're doing trick shots now, is that it? Whoops. <laughs> so much for a trick shot there. Okay, come on. Whoops, nope, not what daddy wanted. Wait, how do I get over here, by the way? Oh. If we complete this, then we unlock the little platform that moves across. Okay, that didn't work. I see they thought about that, and they made that little piece of ground risen. 
You can't see it very well, sorry. But it's risen up a little bit. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, there we go. So yeah, my bad. Okay, here we go. We gotta go around like this. Yeah! Okay, that ought to work. No, that's not gonna work. Bummer! Okay, try again. Here we go. Hit it that way. Nope, not that way. This is gonna take freaking forever, isn't it? Okay, nope, go down there, please. And then we'll hit it like a so. Nope, I missed. Hit it like a so. Okay, I missed. Oh god, <laughs> wrong way again. This is impossibly hard. I can do this though, I assure you. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Go down. Perfect, I just had to brute force it. Wait, I ruined it by getting out of it, didn't I? Okay, well, so much for that. Ugh. That's not gonna work either. Really? I got it and then I failed miserably. Come on. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. That's what daddy's talking about. Down you go. Yeah, boy. That's what I want. Okay, now come over here. Yes, okay. I was worried it was going to keep moving. <laughs> so, I was worried it was going to keep moving, so I had to jump on it really quick. Okay, and it kind of scared me a bit. Great Frost Blade. This magic infused great sword was forged by smelting ore found in the Heeper Mountains, Permafrost. Attack when the blade glows blue to expel freezing air. That's amazing. So, wait. It'll just glow blue? When does it glow blue? Wait, no? There you go, that's frozen air. Oh, I see, it charges up. I get it. That's amazingly cool. This is my favorite sword. This might actually go up in my house. I like this a lot. Uh, anyway, yo, what's up, old man? Give me my spirit orb, please. I would really appreciate it. We got a frost blade. That's cool. That's the coolest thing I've ever gotten in one of these shrines. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we'll just get our orb, if you don't mind. And I'll meet you guys outside. Aw, bummer. It's such a sad, dreary day. Oh well, no problem. Anyway, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad you all tuned in today for another episode of Breath of the Wild. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.